Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the activation, aka the decarboxylation of the THCA to THC, which is the active form, and this is the inactive form. Okay, and the difference is basically this carboxylic acid that doesn't exist here. So we basically, like, eventually transform this carboxylic acid into one hydrogen. Okay, so basically every carboxylic acid can undergo decarboxylation but it depends on the condition so for example if you have a normal carboxylic acid let's say like this it needs radical conditions but there is a type of carboxylic acid carboxylic acids which are called beta keto acids, which can really undergo this reaction, the decarboxylation. And what does that mean? It means that if you have a carboxylic acid, this is the alpha carbon, and this is beta carbon. And on the beta carbon, you have a keto group, a carbonyl group. So this can really undergo the decarboxylation. Why? Because you can do this. So basically, you break this bond and you form a CO2, which is this without the hydrogen, CO2. Okay, so what happens here? As you can see here, we don't have this beta keto acid, but we, we do have something that's called enol. And what is enol? It's this part. So basically, a double bond that has alcohol on it, and it can transform itself into a, a ketone or the keto form. And how does it do that? So the first step of the mechanism is that you transform your enol into a keto. So you have a base that takes this hydrogen and you have two pairs of electrons on the oxygen. So one pair forms a double bond, carbonyl, and this bond attaches itself to a hydrogen. Basically it could be this hydrogen, okay? So what we got, let me, let me just name this the A ring. So I'm going to draw what happened to the A ring now. So these bonds we didn't touch. Here we still have the carboxylic acid. But here we lost our double bond and we formed the keto form, which is beta keto acid. This is the beta keto acid which can really undergo decarboxylation if we add heat. So what happens when you add heat? Like when you light up, let's say, the cigarette, you add heat. So what happens? This happens, as we said before. Base takes this hydrogen. And here we form form a double bond between the oxygen and the carbon. And this bond goes back here to form the double bond of the benzene ring and the carbonyl becomes an alcohol again. So we get a benzyl group that has O minus, but it, it can accept a hydrogen Okay, let's say that it could be, again, it could be this hydrogen. So basically, when the base took the hydrogen, it became BH. Okay, so it can, the O- minus can accept the hydrogen from this compound. So it takes a hydrogen. And 
this part leaves. Why? Because we broke this bond here. We broke it. It like it became the double bond here. So we broke it and we formed the CO2. So always when we decarboxylate, we form CO2 gas. So we get this final product. Okay, so this is the, like after the first step, you form this intermediate, and then it undergoes the decarboxylation with heat to release the CO2. So this group leaves and you form your final product, which is highly active. So if you have any questions, you can message me on Skype. It's in the description below. And good luck. Have a good day.